All right, here we go. The evidence is in. People wrecking vehicles. It's an absolute no doubt whatsoever. You know, court case here. You know, beyond the shadow of any doubt whatsoever that the reason valve covers crack is only because of people. Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before diesel. That's how we normally start, but a little bit of excitement there. Now, these valve covers, this is information that could relate to any motor vehicle, but this is what we specialise in, the 1KD FTV diesel. We do a lot of injector replacements at the Prado Hospital, and of course those uh, workshop partners, 4 before diesel workshop partners. Now, if you want to know more, just keep watching all the videos. Check the playlists out. Now, the cracks. Okay, so we've showed you crack valve covers before. This one is from a 2014, so it's only eight years old. Some people will say eight's really old, but it's not really because a 2005 is really old, not a 2014, okay? So these valve covers, we see them up to, what's that? I mean, 2005 to 2022, not 20 years old, but just a few years off it. And the condition of the plastic, there's no issue with the plastic, but we weren't sure of that because we kept seeing cracks at places like, um, over here, you know, across the front, although it's rare, cracks between down here at all these um, these tubes here, obviously. So at that point there, there's a steel sleeve in there that you shouldn't be able to over tighten the valve cover, right? That's what people are thinking. But with the gasket sitting there, see how it sits a little bit off the bench, a few millimetres, that's a used gasket. With a new gasket, it sits out a little bit more and, you know, You've got to, it's like tightening down a head gasket, right? You've got to do it in many passes. And even though they'll give you instructions like three passes or something like that, it might be say 45 Newton meters, 90 degrees, and then another 90 degrees. You know what? As long as you end up with the same results, you can multiply that into 10 passes, right? As long as you end up at the same place. So I'd probably recommend you could go in more passes up to the, for example, the 45 Newton meters because then the 90 degrees plus another 90 degrees, you don't actually know where it is, so you need to keep that what it is. But the point is, you're not gonna bend or flex or damage it. Things aren't moving much at that point. Same thing here, right? These are meant to be nine Newton meters. See, nine Newton meters, just nine. Doesn't matter if it's eight, nine, 10, or 11, or 12. Any of, any of that'll be okay. Close enough. So let's call it 10 to save any confusion. 10 Newton meters, I don't care. What I care about is when somebody puts the valve cover on, and they go straight to the corner or something, one of the corners to tighten it up. No, you gotta go nip it there. You just do them by hand here. There, 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 there. Work your way out slowly, right? Work your way out. Doesn't need to be like a head gasket. I'm making you dizzy yet, doing a bit of a dance, right? Doesn't need to be like a head gasket pattern, but you need to bring it in many passes down to the nine Newton meters, because it's quite, I can guarantee you, I've, I've done a few hundred of these. Um, I know it takes a fair bit of squash for that new gasket to come down. And if you tighten down any one of them first before you've got the others down, like I said, you've got to do it in many passes. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know, you just nip it up and then you nip it a bit more. You, I don't care if you go like this, around in this order. As long as you're only doing quarter of a turn, half a turn, you can keep going that way. You can go this way, clockwise, any clockwise, whatever you want, right? But maybe just leave the corners to last. But don't do nothing. Give them a little bit as well. Because this is the problem we see. We regularly see this one cracked. And you can see it's cracked. You can see the crack there. Oh, it's a little bit out of focus, but give it a sec. You know, it might come in. We'll see. Anyway, you can see the crack right in the middle of the picture. Right, have a look at this one here. We've got another crack here. This vehicle's done 88,000, 89,000 kilometres. 89,000 kilometres. A beautiful 2014 with full DSC injectors. It's been messed with. And this is, you know, there was a number of problems on the job, but this is a simple video. We're going to keep it short. I'm nearly done, right? So we didn't actually, the point is we didn't see this. And I can't believe that I'm seeing this at these sort of aging kilometres. So it definitely proves that it's caused by people. Okay, so there's a tiny little, again, the focus thing, whatever. There's a crack there, we believe, somewhere. I can't see it at the moment because, you know, maybe, yeah, there it is. So you can see it this side here. Maybe you can't see, but right there, there's a little crack there. But the one we didn't see yesterday, because we knew there was oil there, and, you know, he said, I just want to refresh it and make it how it was meant to be. Bring it back to, you know, genuine, proper again because the pipes have been off, they're butchered up, things, you know, this, that. Let's not go into that in this video. We're trying to keep it short, but the point is, for years I was like, oh, look, you know, is it because they're getting a bit brittle or not really, you know? But we see them 15 years old and they're not cracked. And if we see most of them not cracked at 15 years old, and now we're seeing these 89,000 kilometre ones with the typical cracks, then I'm gonna 100% blame people, tightening down this back corner too much and 
Just this morning I've noticed this. It's not unusual, but we didn't see it yesterday. I'll try and get it to focus. See that crock right there, middle of the picture? Right now, a couple of solutions for you. I'm going to try and save you 400 bucks or more, right? I'm going to try and save you some money here, right? A couple of tips still to go before we're done. Might be about another three minutes, right? Okay, firstly, so if you use the correct procedure, many passes, make you dizzy again, I don't think you'll have any issues. When you talk it down, once you feel like, yep, you feel like those crushed tubes have just touched, that's all you need to do, and then you get, you don't even need to talk it down, okay? But the correct procedure, then get your nine newton meters. I'd kind of go this one, that one. You go that one, that one. You know, that one, that one. Whatever, you get it, and work your way out. And when you get to do, you know, the corners last, right? Now, because what's happening is people are tightening things down. I don't know if they go for the hardest one first or they tighten a few here and there's a bit. And if it's tightened down a bit at this end and not in the middle, or not enough, and then you tighten it, it's just bending, it's kind of like bending, flexing it around, and that's what opens it up and causes this crack. So we want to avoid that, okay? It's easy to avoid, okay? You just need to watch all the videos and do all the work yourself. <laughs> or go to one of the workshop partners, or if there's anyone else out there that's good enough, put your hand up and say, oh, I can do this stuff easy. Let us know in the comments. Let me know to the phone in a text message, and we'll hook you up with some work. We'll test you out. We'll send some people your way, see if you um, can get it right. Okay, so there's the crack. Now, solutions. Now, there's According to Toyota, there's a number of different valve covers. Now, I've got to tell you, it's a 1KD. In my opinion, I could be wrong. I reserve the right to be wrong one day. I believe there's only two different valve covers, and they're much the same. It's just the Hilux has, you know, got the different mounting points for the wiring loom to the Prado. You can see this is a Prado one. It's got the thread in the middle and the corner. The Hilux has even got the thread in the corner, but it's got the other two anyway, right? So they are different. But I'll give you a quick tip because you hung around for seven minutes. If you need a valve cover, if you've got a 120 or a 150 Prado, buy the one for the 120 Prado, that's what we do, it's cheaper, okay? Toyota don't want you to know that. There, there's a lot of the same parts, okay? There is a lot of the same parts and they've got different part numbers on them, even though they're the same. And of course, everybody knows a 150 owner's got more money than a 120 owner, right? Not necessarily right, but that's what they think. Anyway, Everybody knows that people watch my uh, channel and watch the videos to the end, they get their little bonus. So you're gonna save yourself some money. If you ever need one, you can buy the 121. It's the same valve cover, okay? It's the same. We did it yesterday, we put a 120 valve cover. I've always used the 120 valve covers. I've never changed, we put on the 150. It's the same thing with a different number. And it's dearer, okay? The 150 one's dearer. So the other way you can save even more, because you're looking at a range of about three to $400 for a valve cover, okay? So whether you want to pay 300 or 400 or if you get a good price, you might get it for 250 The Hilux ones are the cheapest, okay? And they're usually the ones that are broke the most, but it's probably because the roughest people probably worked on them. I don't know. Um, the other thing you can do, our RTV trick, and the, we show you these RTV, you know, the RTV, you know, the, perm, the Ultra Grey or the Grey Max, whatever, and the way we clean it and use it works every time, been using it for years. If you want to save three or 400 bucks, if you're happy with that crack there because it's on the outside and the gasket's kind of like, you know, it's not cracked on the inside, just check it out. If you're happy with that and you're happy down there as well and you believe that this oil around this area is all from the crack up here, you know the deal we've showed you in the video. You can put the RTV over there. On the Prado, there's a cover over the cover, so the cover's going to go over the top. You're not going to see it anyway. On the Hilux, nobody really cares because it's a Hilux. It's a commercial vehicle. It's not a luxury vehicle. People aren't going around under your... Uh, under your bonnet in your engine bay going oh no look at this oh no he's got a little bit of RTV on the corner what happened there <coughs> and if they do bad luck <clears throat> anyway you won't even see it at the back there under the intercooler so hopefully that saves you some money hopefully if you order a new one it saves you some money because you know the one that's cheaper hopefully you can avoid it is the main thing I don't think we need to talk about these valve covers too much if you want more information on the injector replacement job, you can get some of that in our injector information videos. If you want to purchase an injector kit from me, we've got a couple of videos out there. More coming soon. Latest injector kit information, watch those. We've got a playlist called How to Buy My Kits. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll talk too much. I think I need a drink. Water, please. Um, basically, and we only work school hours and school days and Monday to Wednesday in the mornings is the best time to contact us for anything. <coughs> injector kits Monday morning, suspension Tuesday morning, and uh, you know, BFE and wheel bearings and SCVs and that Wednesday morning. 8am till 10am is the best time to text me. 
please include your vehicle registration number and your kilometres. Don't forget that, your name, delivery address, and get that payment through. When we'll get it all packed and sent. Hope this saves you some money. I oh, know, I just talk too much, don't I? Look at that, 10 minutes. 10 bloody minutes talking about a crack. But wasn't there so much information there to help you out and save you some money to help avoid it or get the right valve covers? So if you think so, hit that like button. And I'm sure by now you subscribed and turned the bell on and all that. Catch on the next one. See ya.